Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm out touring one of the homes that will be included in our next online auction. This property is at 120 Sydney Lane, Gray Court, South Carolina. This is a, um, what I call a multi-sectional manufactured home community. It's nice and quiet out here. I don't know what the size of our lot is, but you can look on your paperwork. Uh, when you look at your contract package, it should tell you, but we got a pretty good size lot here. The house sits toward the back. There's also a two car detached garage. This is a good house and not so good house. It's a double wide. It's in pretty good shape, but somebody took the carpet and the appliances and the cabinets. If they left the cabinets and things, it would probably been all right. So you may have to go down and uh, pick you some up discount building supply. Besides that, pretty nice little old place. I know it's grown up. Maybe the bank will mow the grass before we uh, get out here. But let's head on. We're going to look a little different. I'm going to go around the outside first and the inside, and then we'll go to the garage and just show you around the property. You need to come out here and look at it at the inspection day yourself. Make your own determination. I think this would be a good investment. Probably pull this house up real quick without a lot of work. All right, let's head inside or around the back, really, and see, what, see how it looks. Okay, as I said before we go in, we'll just take a uh, quick look out here. This is a two-car garage. It's grown up, but that's a really nice garage you'll find in a minute when we show it to you. It's insulated and all, but pretty nice house. All right, I'm going to head up on the outside here. You come out here, uh, the neighbor's been mowing the grass a little bit for us here. He's got a nice privacy fence, so you get to share in that. Uh, being on the property, I guess it's his. Could be ours, I don't know. But that's a nice feature to have that. Okay, as I go up here, uh, I'm gonna turn around and look back at the road. You can see it's a good little piece, so you do have privacy up here. Nice gravel driveway. It's all wooded in front. I don't think anybody will know you're here, which is a good thing. If you want them to come up, you can invite them. If not, you got your privacy. You know, I'm just now noticing they took the shutters off the front of the house. That's pretty good. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me, selling these homes. Uh, vinyl and all's good here on the side. On the back, just need some vines taken off. Um, you see that big hole, you know what that is. Ripped air condition out. Got as much as it could of it. Heat and air. Nice and shady back here. And there's a, a drop off behind the yard. So, you're right up on the back of the lot, I think. And that'll give you some privacy on the back side too because there's uh, um, no way for anybody to get right behind you. Listen, this thing has an addition on it. I'll show you that when we get inside. Pretty nice feature. This little old building needs to be in a fire pit. All right, and this is a side yard. Look at your tax map. We will not get a survey. Um, looks like some kind of structure down in there. I don't know what that was about. And this is the other end of the house in pretty good shape. All the vinyl and all looks good on it. It's probably a pretty late model uh, home. All right, I'm gonna go in this side door. If they don't cut the grass, don't worry. I've already stepped on all the snakes. So you just stomp along like I did. I've got on shorts. All right, this was, uh, or is the laundry area as we come in a little mud room that type thing all right and this is our kitchen and i have taken all the cabinets looks like they took the door off his closet that's a pantry um but this floor is not too bad you may can recapture it and uh, maybe paint this wallpaper. And this is your ceiling area. Not too bad. Count on getting some light fixtures. Okay. This is a den. They've taken the carpet, but it has a nice fireplace. Not too bad. Walls not beat up too bad in here. Paint probably take care of it. 
Now they're bad of shape. And it has a uh, kind of a sloped ceiling type area. All right, and that's where the heat return filter and all would have been. So that's gone. So you had to put in the heat and air system. This is the master bedroom. Let me see if I can get a little light in here to help us. Um, again, paint, wallpaper, or paint the wallpaper, get rid of it, put down some carpet. The carpet's not here, and here's your um, ceiling. Just needs clean and paint. And here's a large closet in, his, in this room, so real nice. This is the master bath. It's one of those sunken tubs. Tile floor, shower here, and over there is where the cabinetry was. Looks like it was a double sink. I see two sets of plumbing coming out. Light fixtures gone. Do you know this? A lot of this works what you do anyway. If all this was here, you can get those cabinets pretty reasonable at one of these discount um, building supplies. Habitat's one, Pittman's is one up on White Horse Road. Um, I've known them a long time when they were in the textile business. Okay, this is a bedroom here. Pretty good sized bedroom. Uh, carpet's intact, but I'd just probably replace it. Then uh, light fixture. We do have a uh, closet here, pretty good sized closet. You know, it's not torn all the pieces on the inside, just missing some parts. And then uh, we have this other bedroom. Remember when I showed you that extension on the back? Well, this is the one with the extension. A little dark in here. Uh, my lights do the best they can, but this one has that hardwood style flooring looking. I'm not sure whether it's the real thing or not. I think it's kind of a, a floor covering, I would call it. And then in here in the Clemson room, they had a little karate uh, punch in the wall or two. But I guess it made a little den off that bedroom, but not too bad. You need to come out here and look at this house. I think it can be put back pretty simply. No more than we would do with most houses, except maybe the cabinet's missing, and that's not usually a, a fact. But come look at it, dress it up, see what you can do with it. All right, let's step outside. If you're facing the house, I'm on the left hand on that little balcony uh, deck type thing. This is the garage, and they were building some kind of um, addition or whatever out there but that's got to go it's all rotted through now and it doesn't look too good from this angle but the garage is perfect so let's head over there to the garage okay we're in the two-car garage this is pretty nice i want to show you the walls are insulated it was ready to be covered um Several fluorescent fixtures on the ceiling. Looks like they tacked up some insulated stuff up there and just needs to be painted. They do have an electrical outlet if you want to put automatic garage doors on it. It's wired over there in the corner. You can see that. Nice concrete floor. This is a nice addition to have with a manufactured home. I guess they were going to put in maybe a disappearing staircase and possibly some heat system out here. But a pretty nice garage. All right, it's a good house. Needs a little work, but it's nothing you can't recover. Uh, pretty reasonable. I think somebody uh, will be pleased to own this. Okay, that's going to wrap us up here at Sydney Lane. Sydney Lane's right off Green Pond Road. Uh, it's in a great location, uh, a lot of housing out in this area, easy commute, Lawrence, Greenville, Spartanburg, Simpson, uh, excuse me, Fountain Inn, Simpsonville, pretty good little area out here. Um, remember a couple of things, all the biddings on the internet will not be here to take your bid. You can come out and look at this house on the inspection day, check it out, make your own opinion of what you need to do to it to bring it up to uh, uh, first class condition. 
The neighbor's house next door looks great, and some of the others do too. I think you'll find this to be a good community and you can get some value here out of this home. Also, um, if you are a first time bidder, bid early in the process. If you wait until the last minute, the computer may not allow you to bid. We do not issue the bidder numbers and we don't determine whether they work or not. The computer does that. Also, read your contract package. When you bid, you said you read it and you understood all the terms and conditions, the down payment, when you get possession, these type things. Read that information, it's very important before you bid. If you have questions, need clarification, give us a call. Our number's at the bottom of the screen or you can send us an email, info at terryhow.com. I appreciate you taking time to view this video and I hope it'll encourage you to come out and look at this house and see the potential here for a very nice home. All right, one last time before I leave, online only, the place to bid, terryhow.com. We'll see you there.